Hi guys, as you can see, um, I went for a quick haul in Tiki Max and I'll try to be quick. It's just a few things. First thing is, um, I got a Nail Aid Quick Dry Glass Shine top coat. This one was $4.99 and um, I like to use these top coats. I will try if this one is a good one. And when I have a nail varnish that doesn't wear so long, because a lot of nail varnish they chip quite easily, but I find if I put like, an, like a gel top coat or one of these, um, they actually do quite well, so I can wear some more of my nail varnishes without having to worry that they chip too much. So I'm looking forward to try this one out. Then, this one intrigued me. This is um, CHA Watts. No idea, to be honest. I didn't hear from that brand before. Ultimate Wonder Balm with Jasmine and Champak. And um, this one was on offer. Um, apparently, the original price is £33, and this one was only £7. But what quite intrigued me with this one is um, it's a multitasking balm. So you can use it um, as a balm if you have really dry skin bits, which I have, um, and I use other balms for that, like the 8 hour cream, for example. And to be honest, these balms go quite quickly with me. So I bought this one just recently. Um, it's a big pot of 8 hour cream, the original one. Some people don't like it, but see already the dip in there. I use these balms really regularly. Um, so I thought I'd try this one. But you can also use it as a cleansing balm. So I thought, okay, if, it, if I don't like it um, as a balm for dry skin, I can always use it up as a cleansing balm. So I went for it. Um, the jar is... A glass jar and a plastic lid. Oopsie, and there we go. It's literally just like a really simple balm. It. It smells like typical. Like to be honest, it doesn't smell quite nice. It smells a bit like raw ingredients, but not in a nice way. Um, but yeah, I will. I will try it out. So, oopsie. If you want to zoom in for what you can use it, so you can use it for dry skin bits, cleansing your skin. Um, yeah. Apparently lots of organic stuff in there. So happy to try this one out. Then I also got this one. E. Coloniali. No idea. Mattifying Pureness Urgency Imperfection Corrector. Lotus and Sephora Japonica Extract 15ml. So this is um, like a SOS remedy. Um, I do get... Even though this is, I guess sometimes some people don't realize that even if you have eczema and really dry skin, you actually can get spots. And especially when you have dry skin and the skin barrier is broken, it's really tricky um, to get rid of spots. You usually have to moisturize your skin really well to repair the skin barrier and stuff like this. And this one was only £4. I do get um, sometimes on my chin a few spots. I thought I will give this a try. It's a 15ml size. Oh, by the way, that balm is, how much is that? It's a 50 mil size. It looks quite small considering it's supposed to be 50 mil, but yeah. So let's open this up. There we have it, and there we have the instructions, I guess. And this is the tube it comes in. Let's see how it looks like. Oh, okay. It's interesting. It looks a bit like zinc is in there because it's quite um, wide. It seems to be a bit separated i don't know if that's normal yeah definitely zinc in there look how white that is um, let me check the ingredients if i can see that water uh, there we go okay so yeah um i will give it a try interesting really really thin watery consistency but really strong white cast as you can see so I guess if you use it um, during daytime you need to be careful or put some makeup on top or something but still happy to try this on but by the way it actually smells quite nice so that makes me happy and then last thing I actually got a makeup item and this is from Topshop um, one of their chameleon eyeshadows and this one was $2.99 their chameleon eyeshadows usually are like £12 in Topshop they did um, repackage them um, I think like two years ago and to be honest one of my all-time favorite um, single eyeshadows is a chameleon eyeshadow and I pulled it out to show you this was how they looked in the past um, I have the one which is called shuffle the cards which is like a um, copy of the stylishly merry one and I really like this one and I used this a few times they're like um, like a baked um, gelé formula so I'll actually swatch shuffle the cards here you can see they're super nice and sparkly. It doesn't look like much actually in that swatch. Let me swatch again over. But I can assure you in real life, they look super nice and they are like multichromes. So I saw this one and I thought I'd give it a try. This one is called Reverse. If I could open it, that would be helpful. Okay, I did open it, but I realized already I have to be careful with this one because look at this. It's like loose. 
there we go they see typical actually you have like the grit on the bottom what's usually supposed to keep them in place but i guess this one got a bit bashed in transport so that's full on but let's swatch it oh wow that looks super nice so again they don't have much base color which is quite nice because they're such a good high shine topper i mean look at this shine super super nice this is daylight by the way so yeah i'm happy similar to what i have already but a bit more um pinkish tone in there 